Yo, what's good, y'all? In today's video, we're going to be going over the best popper builds around 6'9 height, but we're also going to be going over the best big man builds around 7 foot, 7 1, and 7 3. Poll was very close. So y'all let me know down in the comments down below which video y'all want to see next. Do you guys want to see the top three small guard builds or the top three lockdown builds? Again, a huge disclaimer I'm releasing this video before the game has officially released. I'm just going through of the 20 plus videos that are 30 plus minutes long by the 20 plus other content creators and gathering together the best builds i've seen so you guys don't have to spend all that time going through all these videos just to see some decent builds and these builds do look very good on paper but we won't really know 100 percent until the gameplay in the game officially releases we also won't know until 2k labs finishing all their testing in the first couple weeks of the game so we can see how much of a boost it goes from the different tiers of badges so we can see what the best bang for our buck is in hitting different thresholds maybe a gold isn't that much better than a silver badge so then we would make our builds accordingly after that but go ahead and make sure y'all go to 2klabs.com bro all of their badge requirements and everything all the spreadsheets over there are free for the badge requirements so whenever you guys are making your build pull up these spreadsheets so y'all can hit your badge thresholds that you want to hit for those of you who are going to get a premium membership y'all could use code koza for 20 percent off now for the first build one of my favorite just one little thing wrong with it it hits the 92 strength threshold so you get the gold post move lockdown right you get the immovable enforcer you get gold gold anchor on this build a 90 interior defense you can pass an 82 three ball is pretty wealthy for a popper an 89 driving dunk so you do get those you know contact dunk animations while having a 75 standing dunk but most of you probably know what i'm going to say the 85 rebound for silver rebound chaser it's just a little iffy when it's your job to rebound the ball and protect the rim now silver rebound chaser it could be a noticeable difference i would expect it to be a noticeable difference if you're going up against a matchup that has gold or even hollow of fame and if they got hall of fame you, you might be cooked on the boards and that'd be really real awkward in party chat even game chat this year y'all know it's cross-platform so people are going to be in the game chat talking their shit bro and if you're getting outboarded and you're the big man you know somebody's going to be in your ear about it i still feel like this build is so close to being great maybe sacrifice some perimeter d maybe some steel get some bronze interceptor maybe even some of the standing dunk i don't know what you could sacrifice but you could definitely find a way to get at least gold rebound chaser now, speaking of a build with hall of fame rebound chaser and a 99 rebound same height right but this one gets the hall of fame rebound chaser the 99 defensive rebound it still gets even gets offensive rebound it still gets the gold anchor it gets a really high steal right you get gold interceptor on this build still a 77 perimeter an 80 interior a, a little bit less passing right 68 so you have to be you know more safe with your passes or maybe you can sacrifice something to get a little bit more passing maybe 70 or 75 you have a 77 three-point rating this build is not a good finisher at all but again you have to sacrifice somewhere this build gets hall of fame defensive badges and rebounding badges but it, it misses out on you know a little bit of passing i would shoot for you know a 75 passing rating because if you do have to push pace and throw the ball up the court you want to have that option available to you especially as the big man but a 77 three-point rating that's really good you get a lot of silver spot up badges but a 70 driving dunk the finishing is definitely lacking but i mean you pick up on it on some really good rebounding and defensive stats and i love that 90 strength threshold because he's gonna get box out beast on hall of fame also getting brick wall on gold the only thing that's kind of iffy is the interior because you only get post move locked in on silver so if you guys go up against those big centers that are drop stepping that are big bodies only silver post move lockdown could be an issue but all around a solid build now this 6-9 is going to get right stick ripper gold so you'll be plucking those 6-8 builds or even plucking those other big man matchups that you're going up against it also gets gold interceptor but you could see this one with the low strength it could be an issue guarding those big boys out there but you see at the top the 96 driving dunk if you want to have fun on a popper get some contact dunks i would aim for that 97 driving dunk so you can get that hall of fame precision dunk so you can start using the dunk meter you'll have that bad on hall of fame to help you out a lot you might be a contact dunk demon on the you know the, the bopper but again the low strength this is for somebody that you know plays a lot of park they go up against other poppers that aren't really big bodies they're not worried about those big guys that are bullying them down low and they just want to have fun push the pace they can dunk they get you know hall of fame precision dunker 96 dunk can still shoot can still rebound and you know get blocks and stuff like that 
but again there, there, you have to give and take with every build right although i myself want to make this build but i'm sure somebody out there would definitely love this build now getting a little taller here this build can definitely still dominate in the park but you know as we go towards like the seven ones or even the seven threes i would stick them more in the wreck but either way you could take a seven footer to the park it's not too slow and you can take him to the wreck he's not too small but look at this build it's pretty leveled out 80 dunk 85 standing dunk so you do get those you know nice standing dunk animations a decent three point rating so you get mostly silver spot up you know shooting badges you get silver claymore silver green machine silver catch and shoot silver corner silver open looks you know while still maintaining you know a 60 steel bronze interceptor you still get gold anchor and gold rebound chaser with a 92 strength rating i could see something like this being very popular because you know maybe sometimes you play park but maybe sometimes you play wreck you kind of play both modes and you can fluctuate in between both modes with a build like this and you can shoot you can finish inside you can protect the rim rebound and you got the strength so you don't get bullied now i feel this build is so close to being great an 86 pass and accuracy so you can push the pace and this is a pnr big if you're setting a lot of screens because a lot of guards are going to need screens this year and you have that 99 offensive rebound so you set the screen you roll if he, somebody shoots it or the guard shoots it you can get that offensive rebound with a 99 hall of fame rebound chaser you get some second chance points you still get, maintain that gold anchor some steel rating for lanes your interior is a little bit lower but your passing accuracy is insane you grab a board you can dish it out or if you're cleaning up the glass for second chance points like i just said that you know you get some nice passing styles uh, 74 three-point rating so you get you know some silver shooting badges 81 standing dunk 84 close shot it's like really close to being great I, like the 88 strength i would want a 90 but he is slow already so it's kind of like i don't know how i would feel about this build but definitely something a template you can take and then edit yourselves whenever you guys go into the builder now shout out to my man bash my man bash rolled he was the only content creator that really made a build but also as you see on the right he has his badges listed on gold like the badges his build receives because there's not a lot of new thresholds this year so somebody can easily look at this man's build well, first off this man has amazing content he always has good energy he's all his stream are always live right and just little things like this he puts all of his main badges that he targeted on gold on the screen so you guys don't have to you know look at a spreadsheet and then you know look back so i expect to see this man have some good builds this year that are easy to understand especially off launch but onto the build you see we got the 73 ski max height max wingspan you still would maintain that 74 three-point rating and 85 standing dunk is a really good you know threshold for finishing he maintains the gold anchor he maintains the gold rebound chaser he is 7-3 so a 7-3 with gold rebound chaser is gonna horse over a seven footer with gold rebound chaser if he has you know decent positioning obviously but again the build is gonna be slow because it's 7-3 but you know 7-3s have always been a good solid build 75 passing accuracy and he doesn't have too low of interior defense he kept at 84 all around some pretty good builds in today's video at least the best builds i've seen so far in today's video if i saved y'all some time or if you guys enjoyed today's video or if you guys learned something, seen something new, make sure y'all drop a like as I put a lot of effort into these videos. Like I said, I hope this video helped y'all out so y'all got, you guys got, you know, better decisions going into the 2K24. I know it's going to be a crazy release, but like I said, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if y'all want more content like this. Comment down below which video y'all want next, and as always, I'll catch you on the next video or stream.